He's the only artist we've ever met with who is like actually social hacking on Instagram. And then he's doing cool things with the fans that Quinn put me on to where he's like, he told all the kids like, yo, play my new song over the intercom in your school and I'll feature you. And kids are getting suspended. Uh, They're getting suspended from school. That's what's up. So it's, he actually had to like stop. So if he did that <laughs> and he's doing hacking like what you were talking about with Dunk, then you're gonna win because you have actual music talent that I already know. And then the only other part that matters is distribution. And you, you are naturally, it comes natural to you to hack distribution. I always talk about the example of P. Diddy going on TRL or when I wear Christmas sweaters courtside at basketball games. It's just understanding what's gonna yeah, get you heard. The end, the end. It's only two things. Is it good enough? And will people fucking hear it? Straight up. That's good, man. He's in the retro brands. They're saying they want to bring Gap back. Like, it's real cool. The, the, where they, the, what they're yeah, all, you know what? You, all you yeah, fuckers. Sure you know what's amazing about you youngsters? You guys are coming with so much more entrepreneurial savvy than the crew that came before you. Everybody's trying to be a mogul out here. It's cool. It's good, man. That's how, that's how you really win. Dollars are more interesting than cents. And everybody was settling for cents. You know? Everybody was settling, settling for cents. And then... Puff and Jay-Z and Birdman, those guys deserve a lot of credit. They started to create a framework. It's so good. Makes me happy, man. Good for you. How old are you? 18. <laughs> That's what's up, man. So young, man. Yeah, man. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. Hit me. I know. I know we've been helping, but like, we helped without you asking. We'll help if you ask, too. You let me know. Music in the vlog. Like, if you want to, like, like, I, my number one recommendation, the same thing you're doing with kids in school, go hard after YouTube vloggers and get your music in their fucking vlogs. He just told me that. It's the number one. You get Jake and Paul to put your music in the song or, or Casey or, and by the way, those are the ones just, I know them and they're big. There's fucking 100,000 vloggers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So really, help, the best help would be if you could reach out to them. I don't know them, so like, just. Okay, I'll put them on. The way, and the way I'm doing that, I'm already doing it the right way. Put Notice, exactly. First I put in the playlist because it's authentic. Yeah. Then now I sit, the reason he's like, yeah, listen, guy I just kicked out is looking to give me millions of dollars and I'm gonna kick him out because I wanna get a sense of you because then if I'm like with it, like from a good spirit standpoint, then it's just gonna make us wanna do it more. Yeah, exactly. Like as soon as I heard, like that one story, the speaker thing, I'm like, cool, good. Mm-hmm. Now I just have to do, like, this is very real to me, I just wanna make sure kids are good kids. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need you punching girls or like doing dumb shit. Nah. But once, once I understand the person's good and smart, I'll fucking, by the way, it's selfish. I'll fucking give, 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 because that means you're gonna win. And then one day when you're in front of 90,000 fucking people in London, they'll be like, big shout out to my homie Gary V, who put me on first. Like, I'm not, I'm not Mother Teresa, I'm just smart. And, and by the way, even if you don't, I don't have that gear where I'm like, fuck, we put, you know this about me, we put them on, why aren't they doing, like, I have no expectation of others. You I just do the right, all the, all the never. Cause I'm gonna, cause, I'm, cause you know this, I'm gonna get mine anyway, I don't need you. So I don't need anything from nobody. I'm doing it, and if four out of every nine do the right thing, well four is better than zero. That's the way to do it. That's how you do it. You understand? Yeah, I know. I do give credit to everybody. Good man. Yeah, listen, listen, you, listen, you're gonna learn because you're gonna win. You know, people have different interpretations of what help is and isn't. People met with me once and think like, you know, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? You, you're gonna feel that, but the key is as long as you're judging yourself and you know you're doing the right thing, you'll be set. Collaborations in your music too. Not, not up, but wide. Let me explain. Not sitting here and be like, oh shit, we gotta do something with Gucci Mane or 21 Savage or something like that. Post Malone, like, no. Can, well that's where I'm going. Are there people in country or pop or jazz that are coming up like you too that you just like their flavor? Or, I thought Logic did it right, like, or just in culture. With fucking auto-tune, even Void could sound good. Like what if somebody's just winning in life? Baby Ariel just put out music? Like, I don't know, it just feels like almost anybody can get in the game in certain ways with the technology advances in post-production. So just being smart, you know? Yeah. Like, like Russell Westbrook to like some girl that's got 19 million followers on, on Snap. You know what I mean? 
No, but that's just an example. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I love that you asked that question. What's up, man? We've even been reaching out to people from like other countries. We have like other artists. Well, this is our big strategy. We think what's going on in Latin America is real as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's very clear that American kids now don't give a fuck that they don't understand what the words are saying. Yeah, we actually have someone, not in Latin America, but in, in Russia. Love it. Who's probably like Bro, the biggest wow. artist in Russia exactly right now. what you just said. I'm working on like different music genres that move into pop. You know what I'm saying? Hell I'm yeah. singing, and then I got songs with like, uh, where they from? Spain, Spain, Russia, Italy, Russia. All that. You know, it's a young lean in Sweden. Um, yeah, we got yep. young lean. All those people, so, you know like, can I give you a good piece of advice? Yeah. Be patient. That's yeah. the only thing that, that's your kryptonite right now. You got, you clearly have your shit together. The only thing that's gonna fuck you up is cause you know it's gonna happen, you can feel it. And sometimes youngsters are just like, fuck, why hasn't it happened? Like 13 months from now? Like happen like that song that completely changed shit. And then they start doing shortcuts. Signing with somebody dumb, doing a collab with somebody dumb, talking about something they don't believe in just because they think it will make a song popular, they deviate. Yeah. So you're saying just stay down. A hundred. Best advice you, you know I get advice to everybody, just stay down. A hundred percent. But when you got real talent and you're on it's the cusp, the always, but what happened, the reason you're at this spot is because you're living that life, just from an old man's standpoint, this next chapter is the most important one. This is the one that decides everything. It's easy to stay down when there's nothing to go up to. But when you're on the cusp, it's hard to stay down. that's, it's what I do. It's hard, like I'm fucking, I won. But I'm trying to win the whole fucking thing, so I'm just eating shit still. No, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. That's what okay. I've telling you, but now it's more to lose. You know what I'm saying? There's more stuff coming at me. You're on the cusp. Try to run that game on you, you hit it on